can tell just from here it looks like a bit of a, a creepy gaff. Yeah, that's it, mate. Hundred percent. That's it, it, brother. It's wrong. See the old railway bridge, huh? Proceed to the route. It's a proper dogger's car, far off. Is it? <laughs> it's a proper dogger's car, proper secluded. You can imagine something going on there. <laughs> Proceed to the oh, you can imagine something going on here, you dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper dogger's car, aren't we? Right, guys. Oh. We. And in where have we got in Rednull? Rednull. We're in a place called Rednull. And we're about to go and investigate something a little bit different. An old school railway station, which was apparently uh, built in the 1840s and uh, stopped commuting passengers in around the 1960s. So there's a fair bit of history here, we hope. Uh, apparently, an old lady lived there at some point and then it later became derelict. So yeah, it's gonna be a cracker. And it is apparently extremely haunted for all you lovers of the paranormal. Let's do it, man. Yeah, if you look here, guys, we're, we're heading up the, uh, well, it's like a little country lane towards this old gaff. And it is, you're a dirty, you're a dirty bastard, Gary. Every time I do a monologue, you drop a log. That is disgusting, mate. Someone mentioned ghosts. Yeah, I know. But as we, uh, well, I, I was going to say there's an eerie wind. <laughs> But no, there is, there is like an eerie, an eeriness to this little area. And if you look, we are quite literally in the middle of nowhere. So I can't wait to see this one. And it's the old, uh, the old uh, railway house, like the uh, station house, you know. So there used to be a platform at the side of it and everything. Probably seen some old pictures at the beginning. But yeah, we'll push on and get you there. Right guys, as you can see, there's the old gate post for the for the gaff. And as I pan you around here, you can see just at the end of this little overgrown pathway, there is uh, the old station. Now apparently uh, some woman lived here and I've heard on the grapevine that she might have died after a, an overdose apparently so I'm not too sure about that but just look at that for a gaff wow yes yeah, meant to be extremely creepy in here and uh, the paranormal people who've been 100% believe that it is haunted. What were it called, Gary? The Rednull. Felton, was it? Rednull and Felton, apparently, guys. Um, and yeah, they stopped commuting passengers in the 1960s. So there's actually a railway here just over this fence. In fact, I'll show you now. And uh, it's actually still live, the track. So I would have got you some transitional pictures, but we don't want to uh, we don't want to risk it. But I will show you down the line here. There you go. Just look at that. So originally there was a an actual platform right here. And if you look, oh that's not it, is it? Oh wow, there's an old. Uh, could have been an old signal thing. That summit, Gary. I wonder what that is then. 
Wow, look at that, it's all overgrown and everything. Yeah, it might be an old signal thing or something. Well, it's got a thingy on there, the asbestos roofing. Possibly just an old maintenance thing, that I reckon. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I'm going to push into the house. And uh, just look at them windows, man. So, yeah, as you can see, it's all boarded up. So, highly likely it's going to be pitch black inside. So, you'll have to. Uh, Bear with me if the stabilisation's a bit funky, because it is a digital stabilisation. So I'll get my torch at the ready and we'll uh, we're pushing. Where is my torch? I mean, just look at that front door, guys. Wow. You can tell just by that how old this gaff is. Look at the chimneys on it. It is, feels quite eerie here, doesn't it? Really does feel eerie. You can see the lane we've just come down there, guys. Yeah, look at that long chair there, just sat there. We've got all little outbuildings here and that. See an old water tank in that one there. Yeah, something. I'm not lying, something is really eerie about here, isn't it? Wow. The old no trespassing sign. Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, look at that. See an old light switch on there. Yeah, something's really, really eerie here, guys. Oh my days. Look at that, mate. That is. It's horror flick tackle that is isn't it, look at that gaff, wow. Jesus Christ. Just look at this. Oh my days. This is a creepy one guys, I ain't lying. Wow, look at the old classic car magazines on there, man. Unbelievable. This is like a little, uh, an old school storage room. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, this is, uh, it's a bit of a bum bum twitch of this one, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that there, man, old school. Shower. Is it a wet room? Yeah, it's like a little shower. Wow, look at that, mate. Look at the old cooker there. Oh my god, just look at that there, guys. I'll show you in the dimly lit light. You've got to understand there is a, a legitimate vibe in here. That is a creepy, creepy scene right there. Wait till you walk around that car though. Wow, look at that cooker there guys. Now that is a piece of history right there. Sort that light out so it's not flicking in and gone. There we go. Just look at that. Wow. Oh man, look at that, I've even got an old lantern. Unbelievable. And you can see the remnants of... Wow! I do not want to go down there. Oh my lord, Gary, I weren't expecting this, mate. That is one of the creepiest corridors I've ever seen in my fucking life, brother. Jesus Christ, it is. Oh my lord, this is one of the creepiest gaffs I've ever been in in my life. Wow, look up the stairs, man. Oh my god. Oh man, I'm apprehensive of turning the corners. Wow! Guys, this is... F 
you're going to have to excuse the swearing on this one because it's definitely going to be some. There's an old lantern there, look at that. Oh, look at that help on the wall and everything. Wow. Yeah, this is eerie, man. Just look at the wallpaper there, streaming down from the ceiling and everything. Jesus Christ. It says get out on the wall then, if you look. You've got an old serving hatch path through into that room. Let me uh, swap my hand around because I'm uh, struggling here with this torch. Me. Sorry guys, one sec, there we go. Better off in my right hand. Yeah, I'm not messing about, Gary. This is, uh, this is creepy. Let me go first, just so I can look at that. There's another. Get out. There's another Run. Wow. Jesus, look at how the floor's gone through, quite literally, hasn't it? Look at that, man. All sorts of uh, old stuff left behind. Wow. Watch out, that's a bit dodgy there. Oh, look, there we go. The old mirror. <laughs> but if you look here, guys, the floor... Jesus Christ almighty, look at that. It's quite literally caved right in. So, I don't know how sturdy these beams are. Yeah, they're sturdy enough. But if you look in there, you've got an old school bathroom. We're talking, I mean, that is an original. Looks like something from the 60s, that does. I'm teetering on a beam here, guys, so you, you're you going to have to bear with me, but I'll show you. My Lord, look at that, guys. Oh, wow. So if you see there, there is an old fireplace, and if you look, you can see the old green velvet curtain. And just look at that. The floor has literally caved into the earth. Incredible. Look at the old uh, lampshade up there and that. Wow. Yeah, I've got a bit. There's a vibe in this one, isn't there? The chip vibe. some stairs at the bottom key my lord I am genuinely genuinely creeped out in here guys I'm not even lying I don't even want to be in here watch some stairs at the bottom key have you been up here have you been up here no my god it's horrible if you look there we've got an old crib Long since abandoned. Just look at this, man. That is quite incredible, that is. Let me 
to start that torch out, sorry guys. I told you it was a bit funky in the in the darkness, the stabilisation, but if you look here, we've got an old school ornament and a lady's shoes. Wow. Another mirror there. Look at that, the old, old school asbestos boiler. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can't imagine the layout of this as it was a, when it were a station, unless it were like the station master's house or something, you know. If you look there, we've got a proper bit of old school furniture. Unbelievable. Look at that wardrobe. I know, yeah, mint that in it. The old chandelier. But yeah, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? If you look there on the side of the old crib, you can see. I mean, that, that looks Victorian, that. I mean, I doubt it is, but it's, it's old. You can see where they did a bit of modernisation in the in the sixties or something up there. An old cupboard that I've got an eerie feeling behind me. Okay, be careful on this floor. If you look up there, you can see where the roof is uh, caving in. Don't double up on this floor because it's damp here, mate. It might be. Yeah, it might be a little bit dodgy that. If you look there. Oh, there's a smell here. Oh, what's that? Oh, my God, what? Did you hear that? Did you hear that then? Shut up. What the fuck is that? Did you hear that? <laughs> it's like some fucker breathing. I smell a weird ass smell. Oh. There's the old Victorian turds. <laughs> My God, I have got a weird ass vibe here. Hey, is that you? Yeah, I did. No, I heard some breathing like a. <gasps> My God, I'm. It, I'm. It's literally that creepy day, guys. I'm apprehensive to stick my head round the next corner. Oh, fuck, who's that? Who is it? There's somebody walking out there. I'm telling Shut you. Shut up. Who's that? Did you hear this? Shut up, get your fucking shit me on now. <laughs> if you got there, well, that's 2016, that one, but. My God. Oh my God, I wish Ganny was here to put that bonnet on. <laughs> Fucking hell, I've never wanted to leave a gaff so bad in my life. I'm not even joking. Just look at that old door there. Wow. Yeah, the filming might be a bit effed up on this one, guys, because I am. Jesus Christ, yeah. This is it, thank God. Um, into attic there, you can see right up into the roof. But yeah, thankfully, this is, uh, yeah, it's just all bits and bats, isn't it? Come here, go first. You have to go down there. <laughs> yeah, um, thankfully, guys, this is all there is. Someone bang behind us, like, no messing about, mate. They ain't even joking. Someone literally fucking banged behind us, then. Come on, have a 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Just. Wow, shut up. Watch this step here, Kevin. Okay. Watch this step. Okay, Kevin, watch this step. Just get me out there. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, guys. Uh, I'm not even joking, this is the creepiest fucking gaff I've ever been in, no two ways about it. It's literally the creepiest gaff I've ever been in, so I'm bailing now. Um, whoa! Shadow up there, shit myself, yeah. Um, I'm done guys, literally. See you later. Yeah, yeah, Dad. I'm getting out, I'm getting out. I'll tell you what guys. What the fuck? <laughs> if you look through there, it's the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call a true urban explorer out there, guys. Oh, Too God. fucking scared I to come in. There, you shit house. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll tell you now, guys. If you're into your paranormal, you know this location. Jesus Christ, come here, because it is absolutely horrible. So yeah, I think we're gonna. Just push back out now. See the old lemon cookies. Oh, we've got the old Tetley tea bag men there, no way. And then the old Argo. Yeah. Look at that old speaker up there, man. Wow. That literally looks like it's been there since World War II. And apparently, there's all sorts of stories of death and murder. And people dying on the adjacent railway lines and that guy so if there was such a thing as paranormal activity it wouldn't surprise me if you found it in here because this is truly the creepiest place i've ever been in when i say sometimes you get a vibe this place is quite literally giving off a vibe one of the creepiest vibes oh my god someone's duds are there Ew. but yeah Truly one of the creepiest explores I've ever done and I'm honestly glad to be out of it so let's go. Oh man. I mean look, there's so much stuff here for you to uh, for you to find we're back in that little outer room now but yeah I've never Wow look at that yeah oh oh wow man Shibuya now that is old school. There's all sorts of bits and bats in here. There's an old bulb box there, and if you look at that, Mother Hubbard. <laughs> but you can see the old uh, spider webs that have been there for, for decades. Wow. Look at that, guys. 1963. Wow. 30p. 77. No way, man. Look at that. That is unreal. So, you hear that? Yeah. I'm telling you, mate. I mean, it's probably the creaks and the, you know, the creakiness of the old gaff and that, you know. But it's all explainable. Oh, wow, look at that safe. But I'll tell you now, guys, if you, uh, I mean, I like a creepy one. I like making creepy vids, but this is uh, genuinely shit scary guys we've got a uh, hang on a minute what's that uh sorry guys let me sort that flash out there we go was there a date on there april the 16th 1966 wow so the midland bank 1966 but yeah um i promise you guys come down here and you will be scared there is uh there's no two ways about it, and I'm truly glad that I'm done. Um, I've done a few explores that are creepy and have a vibe, but this one in particular has one of the creepiest vibes I've ever, uh, ever experienced. I mean, just look at the window there. 
I think that says enough, doesn't it, you know? See if we can focus you on the inside there. Not much, but yeah. Audible this place. Truly audible. Yeah, if you look there guys, there's an old uh, old skill tape deck, I believe, or something like that. Um, I'll show you in here because I, I do when I get out of here. I think this is just an old shed or oh, look at the old black. Wow, look at them windows there, look at that man. Now that is proper old school. Wow. Unreal. You can just see the creepiness of this gaff as there's a, a bit of a storm approaching, you know. If you look there, we've got the old door and that creepy, creepy window. Yeah, we were, we were going to get off, but we feel a bit better now. <laughs> We're going to have a little tinker about in these old sheds just while we're here because I think, yeah, well, with it being so old, you know, you never know what's going to be in it. Oh, yeah, it's all empty in it now, though. Leather die. <laughs> no way, man. Reg plate there. You can see where they've uh, put some old tops up to um, cover the windows, you know. Wow. Oh, no way, man. Look at that. Seed specialists. That is old school. Oh, wow, yeah. G86. Seven five four. Yeah, not much really in that one, guys. To be honest, but I think uh, Kay's found some. No container there, like a shipping container. What is it? Oh wow! Look at that, mate. No way, man. The old Bon Tempe. I remember them. Look at that telly, mate. That is a cracker. Is that? That is mint, man. If you look down there, there's a little child's bicycle or something. You can see uh, like some old wood panel in there and that. So there used to be a big, massive uh, thing here. You can see the remnants of what I believe. Well, I know, yeah, would have been uh, a caravan. What the hell is that? This is the caravan where this girl died and she was on the run. What, there's someone here on the run? Yeah, it's a 14 year old girl. Right, apparently someone was here. Yeah. This is the caravan. What the? Or maybe that one that was cooked. Wow, look at that, mate. That's a fucking Jason's grotto job. Jesus, look at that, guys. That's worse than the house. <laughs> wow oh my god look at this this is a legitimate fucking hideaway Santa's grotto wow so someone guys was legitimately living in here for a long long time and it looks like they were living in here with children Um. Wow, there's all sorts of stuff knocking about in here, old children's clothing and stuff. And you got a tally there, you got some old um, rock ports there. Look at them, rock ports, Gary. No way, man. Just look at the stuff in here. It's a uh, proper little grotto now, but at one time it would have been uh, someone's humble abode. Look at the old stereo there, the old Matsu. Mint that, like, innit? Unreal, man. Wow. 
Yeah, this is this is creepy in itself, isn't it? I know. Oh, yeah. Got, to <laughs> Got the old spectres there watching us. Oh wow, me mum used to have one of them fireplaces. No way, mum. Wow, look at that. You can see where the the birds have been nesting up on top of the boiler. Yeah, this is a proper um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre find this. <laughs> really is. There's the, um, the old bathroom, look at that. Wow. Oh wow, and then you come in here guys and just look at this, you've got a little, little baby's travel cot. How eerie is that? So this would have been the, the little one's bedroom. So apparently Gary reckons someone were on the run and this is where they were hiding out with the kids or something. So I know it's all knackered and derelict now guys, but I'm sure it didn't look like this, you know, when they lived here. You can see they've got little Christmas lights up on that. I'm sure it would have been a lot tidier. I don't wanna I don't like coming in places like this when it's, you know, this was legitimate someone's, someone's home at some point, so you can't help but feel that you're doing wrong, you know. You can see an old shoe there from the little fella. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad we found it really. It's once was someone's humble abode, but oh, after all the years have gone by and the rot's set in and the youth have been in and now it's ended up like this, you know. Unbelievable. You can actually see up there a little angel overwatching the place. Unbelievable, man. I'm glad we found this, mate, to be honest. Really am. See the old fire there? I know, yeah, my mum had one of them. What about the, what about the uh, huggies then? The what? Huggies. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it must be fairly recent then. Yeah. Wow, so perhaps whoever we're living here, guys, was um, living here like this, you know? Yeah, this is one of those strange little things you find, but I'll, I'll never forget it. Um, yeah, bit of an eye opener. Let's go. If you look there as well, guys, we've got the old ghost sign. A, uh, an old school sun blast fan. But if I just drop you back here and show you the top of that. That is quite Boating. foreboding indeed. Yeah, if you look here guys, I'm uh, I'm just taking some cinematics for the intro of the old gaff. And I literally almost put my hand on this to lean on. And if you look up, we've got the ivy growing up it. And it is literally the old Victorian street lamp. How incredible is that? So a legit old school Victorian street lamp. I hope you can see that proper there. Just look at that, man. That is incredible. Yeah. And as we spin you around, we've got something very intimidating indeed. Wow, I think that's one of them rare little gems of a place and uh, suits my editing style to a T because hopefully I've terrified you with uh, nothing but old school um, apprehension and suspense. No jump scares, just uh, the fear of the unknown, you know. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll spin you around now at the end of this lane. 
we'll give you one last peek at the old gaff before we call it a day and head back home mint nice one for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one take it easy man peace